great. It was amazing. I think. Today on Hot Year, we have somebody very interesting for all of you. That's none other than Hasleen Kaur. And of course, we're going to talk about a soon to release film. Hasleen, welcome on Hot Year, first of all. It's really, it's really nice having you here. Tell us a little about the film that, you know, we've seen the promo yesterday. Talk, talk a little about your film. What is it about? How was your whole experience, you know, working with the entire team? Um, it's a very racy um, romantic drama, a uh, bit of comedy also in it. It's called Karle Pyar Karle and it's releasing on the 10th of Jan. And uh, the movie is all about uh, these two people uh, and their journey through love, in and out of love. Right. And um, how due to circumstances they've been pulled away from each other, then back to each other. And just it's a roller coaster ride. Right? So you have to watch it for me. So I'm not going to divulge more. <laughs> of course we will. I mean, in fact, we were looking forward to it because you know every time a pageant winner comes in we're definitely looking okay now she's going to get into Bollywood which is the next film you know so we always think about it tell us a little about your experience since you were in the modeling industry you won the pageant after that how was your whole experience in getting into Bollywood how was it like you know was it difficult was it easy I think it does um, does become a little easy after you win a pageant because it is a platform I mean no matter what we say today, the Miss India pageant does give you the visibility that someone like me needed. You know, I'm a girl from Delhi and Delhi mostly has the fashion um, scenario uh, building up but not really here. Um, Bombay is more of films. So I needed that visibility and Times of India gave me that as the biggest publication. And uh, thereafter, I carried on with my modeling because that's my first love. Right. I like being on the ramp today, I'm watching Gavin's show, but I would have loved to be there walking and getting the high that, you know, gets to you when you're on there. But uh, thereafter, I think it's like plenty of auditions that you give, plenty of acting classes that I had to take. Then I met, went and met Sunil Darshan and he really liked me for the role. That's really nice. So was it your first audition that you just cracked it? It was not my first audition. I haven't been so lucky, <laughs> but I had to go through a series of auditions because I think that's how one learns. Because nobody really tells you how you need to behave, how you need to get into a character. And I think over a period of time, after failing, I've learned, you know, I, I know how to be able to portray a certain character in the way a director might want to see it. So that's how it was and with Sunil Darshan I walked in looking like the character so he felt I was I was it. <laughs> that was easy I mean to kind of attract uh, him that you know for the character that you're looking for he, he was looking for. Uh, tell me a little hustle and see there are a lot of things that happen in the industry everyone knows about it people talk about it few people don't talk about it. Did you go through any such incidents that you remember? Uh, touch wood I've been really lucky when it comes to um, you know just uh, many people do get exploited in this industry so when you come in you just need to know you need to have your head on your shoulders and you need to know that you've come here to do your job and uh, beyond that there's nothing more that can really get you what you want you know you just it's just about going by your principles doing your work coming back home to your family and friends and that's about it so touch wood I haven't been unlucky that way right <laughs> okay um, Hasan Sigi uh, when you're new in the industry you do think of couple of actors that you would want to work with you know so tell me the list of actors that you have in mind well it'll have to be endless because if I miss out any they might just get offended <laughs> but uh, I would um, of course all the Khans <laughs> Amir Khan now that Doom 3 is releasing he looks fabulous in that and and uh, Ranbir Kapoor, Abhay Diol is one of my favorites. His dimples are damn cute. Right. <laughs> and uh, yeah, pretty much everyone. I think even Amitabh Bachchan, that I have huge regard for him. And what about the first day of the shoot? Were you very nervous or were you like chilled out and excited? I was extremely nervous until I got onto the set because the set is full of people, the 100, 150 people, crew members, technicians and they really made me at ease. My director, Mr. Rajesh Pandey, he put me at ease instantly. So when I went in front of the camera, I was just being myself. I'd rehearsed so many times that it got into my habit and it was just wonderful. And how, um, how many retakes did you give the first take? You have to tell this honestly. <laughs> How many retakes? Well, I don't know a number because if I put a number, my director might say no, it was much more. <laughs> but <laughs> Approximately. That, that makes sense. I think I must have given about 10 takes for my first scene. <laughs> 
I think that isn't too bad. I don't know. I don't feel it's too bad. <laughs> yeah, I think so. They just, you know, there was one scene that I did in one take. So thereafter, they started calling me the one take artist. Oh, one take artist. I yeah, I said first. So did you get like those claps coming in from all your crew members there? <laughs> yeah, some of them were really uh, encouraging. That was and motivating. Yeah. Oh, I think uh, that was a very interesting conversation, and I, I don't think so. You would reveal too much about this film because the promo is just released. But nevertheless, we're going to wait for its release. And Hasleen, we're going to catch you again on Hot Yo. Hi, I'm Hasleen, and you're watching me on Hot Yo. My film Karle Pyar Karle is releasing on the 10th of Jan. So please, please, please go and watch it in the theaters, and you're in for some racy fun.